you doing? Thanks for knocking on my door. I can't wait to invite you into my home so I can show you how to make homemade pesto from scratch. It is the taste of summer. It's super easy and it's super delicious. So come on in and I'll show you how to do it. So in case you couldn't already tell by my last name, yes, I am half Italian. And this recipe came about with me and my sister just wanting to make fresh pesto. And it's actually super easy. You only need seven ingredients. So let's start with the fridge. So one of the first ingredients you're gonna need is the main part of the pesto, which surprisingly is spinach. I like to use spinach. Not everyone likes to use spinach in their pesto, but I like to use it because it adds extra protein. You're also going to need some garlic and some Parmesan cheese. You can also get the block of Parmesan um, if you would like to cut it up. Okay, so now that we got the ingredients out of the fridge, it's time to get the four remaining. So that is olive oil, some salt, I like to use the pink Himalayan salt, and pepper, and surprisingly, almonds. I didn't realize almonds was in pesto, but it actually is. And now, the fun part. We blend all these ingredients together. And that's easy. And really the only thing that you need to prep is cutting the garlic. I like to use one clove. You could use more if you would like it extra garlicky. I do like garlic, but I only use one. So now that you have your garlic cut, it's time to put all the ingredients into the blender. It's time to blend. Okay, so that's definitely looking like some really, really yummy pesto. Let's take a look. Look at that. Super green, super fresh. Mm. Oh yeah, that garlic has a kick, but it's super good. Mm. So guys, I don't know about you, but I am definitely hungry. Thanks again for following along my pesto journey, and I can't wait to see what pesto creations you come up with in the future. So I guess there's only one thing left to say now, and that is manja. I'll see you guys next time.